Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 6-3 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, the truss used to support a balcony is subjected to the loading shown. Approximate each joint as a pin and determine the force in each member. State whether the members are in tension or compression. Set P1 is equal to 800 LBs and P2 is equal to 0. To solve this problem, we will use the matrix of the joints. So let us draw the three body diagram of joint A. So FPD of joint A. Now, let us consider two axes. We have a P1 force acting downwards and now we have to draw two unknown forces force of the member AB and the force of the member AD now we do not know whether the components are in tension or in compression to assign the direction to these unknown forces, we have to consider this fact from the Hebeler book that if the entire truss is in equilibrium, then each of its joints is also in equilibrium, which means we have to assign the directions to the unknown forces in such a way that they balance each other, which means that I have an inclined force acting like a compressive force. Let's call this FAD. Similarly, I have one horizontal force in this direction. Let's call this FAB. This angle right here is 45 degrees. Now I can dissolve Now I can resolve FAD into its components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Now this angle right here is also 45 degrees because it is alternate to that angle. This component is FAD sine 45 degrees. And that component is FAD cos 45 degrees. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in x direction is equal to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FAB minus. FAD cos 45 degrees is equal to 0. So FAB is equal to FAB cos 45. Let us call this equation A. Then we have one more equation which is sum of the forces in y direction is equal to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have FAD sine 45 degrees minus P1 is equal to 0. Since P1 is equal to 800 LBs, so FAD becomes 800 divided by sine 45 degrees. So FAD is 1131.37 LBs. Since we are getting the positive answer, which means that the direction we had assumed for the FAD force is correct and the member FAD is in compression. 
output FAD is equals to 1131.37 LBs in equation A. So that we have FAB is equals to 1131.37 cos 45 degrees. FAB is equals to 800 LBs. And we had assumed FAB as a tensile force because it is acting away from the joint A. So FAB is in tension. Now we have found the forces in two of the members. Now let us consider the joint B. For that we have to draw the FBD of joint B. At joint B I have A force FAB which is a tensile in nature. And I have a P2 force acting downwards. To balance this force out, let us consider that I have a force from the member BD in upwards direction. Similarly, I have one horizontal force acting towards right hand side to balance the FAB force. Let us call this F. BC. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have some of the forces in x direction is equal to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FBC minus FAB is equal to 0. Then we have FBC is equals to FAB and FAB is equals to 800 LBs. So FBC is also 800 LBs. And since we are getting the positive answer, which means that the direction we had assumed for the FBC force is correct. And in fact, FBC member is in tension. Then we have some of the forces in y direction is equal to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have FBD minus P2 is equals to 0. Since P2 is equals to 0 LBs, which means FBD is also equals to 0. So, we do not have to assign that FBD is whether in compression or in tension. Now, we have found the forces in four of the members. Now, let us draw the three body diagram of joint B. So we have one compressive force that is FAD.
This is 45 degrees. If we inspect this force, this force has a vertical component acting downwards, which means there must be a force which has a vertical component acting upwards, which means F D C is directed like this. Also, to balance the horizontal components of FAD and FDC, we must have a force that has a horizontal component in, their, in the opposite direction. That is FDE. We have one more force that is basically let me draw it. F B D force, but it has no importance because it is zero LBs. F B D is zero. Now this angle right here is also forty five degrees. Because this angle is 45 degrees, this is alternate to that angle, so it is also 45 degrees. Now we can dissolve the forces FAD and FTC into their components. So we have one vertical component and one horizontal component. Similarly, we have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let's label them. This is FAD sine 45 degrees. That is FAD cos 45 degrees. This right here is FDC sine 45 degrees. And that component is FDC cos 45 degrees. That angle is also 45 degrees. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in y direction is equal to 0. So we have F DC sine 45 degrees minus F AD. Sine 45 degrees minus F B D is equals to 0. So from here we have because this force is 0, F D C is equals to F A D sine 45 divided by sine 45. These two cancels out. F D C is equals to F A D. And FAD is equals to eleven thirty one point three seven LBs, which means FDC is also equals to eleven thirty one point three seven LBs. And this force component is in tension. Now we can apply the another equation of the equilibrium, which is sum of the forces in x direction is equal to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have negative FDE plus F D C cos forty five degrees plus F A D cos forty five degrees is equals to zero. Now F D E is equals to eleven thirty one point three seven cos forty five degrees plus FAD which is also 1131.37 cos 
cos 45 degrees. So from here we have 800 plus 800 is equals to 1600 LBs. Now FDE is a compressive force. So the member FDE is in compression. Now let us summarize the results because we have found the forces in every member. So we have FAD. It has a magnitude of 1131.37 LBs and that is a compressive force. Similarly then we have FAB. It has a magnitude of 800 LBs and this is a tensile force. Then we had FBD is equal to 0 LBs. It is neither in tension nor in compression. Then we have FBC is equal to 800 LBs. This force is in tension. Then we have FDC is equal to 1131.37 LBs. This force member is also in tension. Then FBE is equal to 1600 LBs. And this force component is in compression. So now we have found all the forces in the members. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.